What's up? Good morning, everybody. We just pulled through the gate at the landfill, and uh, we're going to check out our new Hyundai 160 with the Bateman demo magnet on it. So this will be the first time that I've seen it, and we're pulling up to her now. So let's jump out and get her checked out, and fire that puppy up, go down to the landfill, and pass it off to Magnet Bob, who's been waiting patiently on this machine for quite a while. We had to have the the generator or gen set installed and add an additional uh, auxiliary hydraulic pump to run the magnet. So let's jump out of the truck here and go check her out and uh, go pull some metal out of the landfill. Hey, hey Ron. Howdy, What's up, buddy? How are you? Good, I'm good. Glad it's not raining. Me too. Uh, it's only like 130% humidity. Uh, here is the new machine Hyundai HX 160L looks good Yeah, that's about the perfect size for what we're gonna do so this machine will be used to um, main objective is to pull out metal out of the waste but we also use it to get trash off of trailers and Sometimes it gets hung up in trucks and what have you. Aaron, if you don't look on the inside, they said they um, hit a key. Okay. Or hit the key somewhere. Looks like there's one tendency in the <laughs> That's a good hide. Yeah, a really good hiding spot. <laughs> well, they were going to put it outside the gate. Right. So. Brand spanking new. Smells good in here. How about that? Yep, got that new, new track hose smell. Better check our oil and everything first before we fires her up. Let's go do that. Make sure everything's good. Ugh. I want to see this gin set too. This is different from the last one we had. And they installed an additional auxiliary pump somewhere might be in the door. yeah we probably have to open the door to see it but and this one forget the, how many kilowatts this guy is it's a little stronger than the last time I must say 11,000 kilowatts good. yeah I like this one a little smaller unit than last time let me go over here and pop the hood that up for me buddy oh uh, yeah uh yeah you good yeah it's latched dipsticks are all around the back side yeah i don't know why they put them on that side climb through it'd be way better if they were just like right here yeah i'm gonna stand on this so you don't see that right <laughs> <laughs> if you cover the sticker up then it's yeah. legit Tell you, she might need a splash. I think so too. Just maybe. Okay. Stick it in there again. Let's double check. Kind of sitting on a little angle too, though. Not that much. It's right at the line. Yeah. So we could fire it up. It'll be. And move it around and then check yeah. It again. Yeah. Let's do that. It's enough to not worry about damaging anything. Correct. All right. Let's fire this bad girl up. I think, I, think we we, I think we found it. I think this is it here. Yep. Okay, I see how they did it now. That's it. I think it's gonna have all kind of hydraulic lines going every which way, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And then they just cable it right on out to the, the Bateman. This is a demo, demo mag. I love this thing, it's been awesome super strong this thing is probably pulled out uh who many, knows how many thousands of tons this was on our old komatsu excavator and of course now we've switched and gone with the hyundai they've been real good to us been good machines 
and uh, good folks to work with up in Columbia, South Carolina, May Heavy Equipment. If you need anything up that way or anywhere around, they're the guys for the job for sure. All right, well, let's do it to it, buddy. Yeah. I'll follow you down and pick you up. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Cause we gotta figure out exactly how to, how this one functions. You see any genset turn-ons? Is it all the older stuff? I think it's all right here. Oh, yeah, okay. Generator. We've got all brand new hardware. In nice. this machine, I believe everything's left in the Komatsu. Okay, sweet. Buster off. Got rear view cameras and everything. It's a nice little machine. I tell you, you know, the other reason I go with Hyundai a good bit is just uh, what you get for the money. The value is incredible. The price point on these things are super attractive. And they back them up too with a, with a good warranty. So you put all that together and it's kind of hard to go elsewhere and you know the biggest thing too with heavy equipment is service because you can buy you know the cheapest machine or whatever you feel like is the best value for your situation but if you can't get service then you know it makes it super frustrating so a lot depends on who's taking care of you after the purchase and I've made some mistakes in the past and gone with what I thought was a deal and then regretted it so Found something pretty good here with Hyundai and and uh, May he the guys that May Heavy. Pretty good combination. You get a deal and you know you get service along with it. All right, let's see what we can do with this magnet. There's my cutter head for the skid. I need to hook this thing up and do a video going through the woods, mulching. This is a bad little mamma jamma right there. We gotta figure out all, all the buttons. There's the horn. <laughs> And there's the magnet. Yep. Oh, Bob's gonna be so happy to have this machine. Oh yeah. That's strong. so cool and you just hit a button and drop them off all right let's get it down to the landfill put this girl to work let her make some money <laughs> uh, dad you go pick that up here that's a lot of weight there uh, they strong but not that strong you'd be amazed at the amount of metal and nails and bolts and nuts that we pick up it's pretty pretty awesome so all right, you want me to follow you down there, bud? Okay. All right, let's go.
guess Aaron knew I wanted that pot. <laughs> Boy, it's pretty good on that track. Huh? I need all these I can get. Those damn things are expensive. They really are. Walk around there and Aaron can show you, show you the controls and make sure he sees you. Okay. I mean, damn, 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 they don't let anybody in this place. Yes, sir, they let the damn boy. <laughs> How you doing today, bud? Doing well. We got, got the new magnet delivered yesterday, and Aaron's tracking it down right now. So Bob, Bob can get out the Volvo. He'll be happy. You was out about early this morning, wasn't you? Yeah, the oh, lumber got delivered. Okay. Down there, he called me. At, I saw you. I was like, that is yeah, right. yeah, he called me at seven fifteen, okay. and said, "Hey, uh, my truck's down there. What time y'all open us? I <laughs> started <laughs> open till nine, but I, I ran down there and offloaded." I'm gonna take a load of that uh, concrete back over there. Oh, great! Yeah, that'd be good. While we, while we got time this morning. Might, might as well. Magnet Bob. I said, how are you? Oh, Got your new machine coming. Yeah. You can get out get out this old girl. You, you, don't, you don't have a problem with that, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I know it. Well, it's it's nice. We just tried her out and everything's working, so be good to go. Um I forget the button the button layout's different, but basically. Yeah. We'll get her down here in a minute, get her checked out, and you can, you can do it to it. Okay. So here's what we figured out. You got this thing over here that's so it's nothing. Is that big? You think that's all of us? Let me see the generator switch. Oh, okay. It's labeled. So if you flip that over to on, then this here will turn on. You can look up here. I think he is. It'll count down from like five. Yeah, yeah, it's latched on pretty good. So I'll let that thing fall and hit you in the head. Yeah. What do you think? Off the ground. <laughs> That's cool. That's so <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you. That thing is crazy strong. Bob will probably have a couple box full shortly. Yeah. motors, sickle mowers, you name it, and we get it in here. A lot of metal. Before we had the magnet, you know, we uh, you'd get out what you could by hand, but the rest of it honestly just got buried over there. It was super wasteful, so that's why we made the investment to uh, to get the magnet. 
And that Bateman is especially handy because you can do just what Bob did there and scratch through the material uh, to unearth it because the magnet is strong, but it's not strong enough to pull it through the trash. And you don't want it to anyway because then you would have lumber and junk, you know, in your in your metal box because it would be pinned in between the metal and the bucket. But anyway, you could take those teeth and scratch through the loads and uh, then mag the metal right up. Works, works like a champ. Yeah, that is a pretty stretchy hose pipe. That thing almost come back and pop me. <laughs> That'd be like the most giant rubber band slap ever. All right, well, we got head to Atomic now. And uh, let's see what those boys are doing. So that is our Hyundai HX160L with the Bateman demo mag. So we'll let Bob get back to work, fill the metal box up, so uh, we can take it to the recycle yard and, and sell it and repurpose it. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll try to make a video over to Atomic too. We've got the big dig going on over there. They uh, carried the Bell haul trucks and the Komatsu over there yesterday. So the guys are doing their safety training this morning. And we're going to go over there and uh, have a little meeting. Get everybody on the same page about what we're going to do and start digging. See ya. <laughs> That's cool. The one good thing about having a landfill is you get to tear stuff up and make a mess and you don't get in trouble for it. <laughs>